The Greensboro Science Center is getting kids interested in coding. WFM News 2's Christian Morgan found out what goes into getting started. Meteorologist Christian Morgan back at the Greensboro Science Center again with our friend Mr. Jessica Linkletter. And Jessica, the last time we were together, we were talking about robots. Yeah. Today we're back in the same place and we're going to talk a little bit about coding. But first, before we get into that and all the different ways you can do it, tell me why coding is so important because it's used all across the world in so many ways that we live life and do all sorts of different things now. Yeah, and we love getting kids started early because yeah. it is a part of their natural curiosity. They want to be able to follow instructions and go from point A to point B to kind of see the world through uh, sequential thinking and thinking about what comes after each mm -hmm. other. Yeah, and since the world is so dependent on technology now, you use that you know in computers and software engineering, you know, in even writing codes for cars now. Com yeah. Cars have so many computers, and all that of course <laughs> generates off of codes, right? Yeah. Cool. Awesome. So so let's get into it. We're going to start with the basics, and then we're going to get a little more advanced and yeah. see how see how much I can actually comprehend. <laughs> so we have a code hopper game in front of us. This is something that our five to even seven year olds would do in the beginning of our coding classes. Right. We're going to start with here. We're going to wave okay. our hands and then we're going to clap our hands. And then a lot of time in coding, there's an if-then statement. So right. if something is true, you're going to do this. And then if it's not true, you do something else. So do you see a circle in this room with us? Yes. All right. So we're going to say, yes, we see the circle. So we okay. have ignored this whole section of code. And now we're going to keep following. So we're going to stomp our foot one time. Okay. And the next thing we're going to do three times. So we're going to point in the air three times. You can do like a little, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> point it up and stop our code. All right, Jessica. So we're moving up another, another level here. First, what is this called? And, and and what's different about this? Why is it more advanced? Yeah, so this is an Ozobot, which is a cool little robot that has a color sensor in this. Huh. So it does require some pre-planning. You have to kind of know where you're going with your drawing. Right. But it doesn't require computers. So it has its own color codes, which will tell it different sequences of, I want to go faster, I want to go slower, I want to spin in a circle. Right. All right, Jessica, thanks. I know a little more about coding now yeah. and actually how it works. And you sort of get in that thought process of how do things actually work and now it has me thinking about all the computer programs we use and all the different options that we have and click down drop down windows yeah. and that's all pre-planned. Yeah and we have coders from ages of five to all the way up to as old as you feel like. Wow, this is so cool. <laughs> Jessica thank you so much. Thank you. What a cute little thing. Yeah, I just want to keep way. it and have it <laughs> and I don't know what I would do with it. Have it on your desk running just, you around know? while you write stories. <laughs> yep. I'm yeah. impressed with people who, who can learn coding and just do all I that know. stuff. I, I am not a science mind. I, I love it. What's so cool is they have so many camps that are aligned mm -hmm. with coding for little kids. Can you imagine them learning about coding at such a young age? But I imagine it shapes their minds into something amazing as soon as they would be able to grow up too. When I was in middle school, my father was superintendent of Mount Airy City Schools. And so he said, we're thinking about this, this is a long time ago. So he said, we're thinking about having a computer lab. and. We ended up being the first school system in the state to actually have a computer lab back in the day. And so he gave me a book on coding. It was the basic, like literally basic language, if then go to. And I started playing with it and he said, he let me go for a couple hours. He came in, you ready to go? I said, no, I want to do more of this. And then he goes, we're going to have a computer lab. Yeah. It was, kids love it. And it's so hard too. Though. It is now. Yeah, back then it was easy. And if, you, and, and if you can make it fun, you know, or at least seem fun, yeah. where the kids aren't feeling like they're, oh man. Yeah, like I who would want to play with that little this. cute little exactly. robot? Right. right. You know. That's fun. Make it a game. That's mm -hmm. right. We'll be right back.